Hello everyone, you are watching free SketchUp tutorial series from basic to advanced. Watch previous sections of this series to keep up with the course and don't miss any detail. This is section E of the series in which I will explain you about important SketchUp tools and essentials required to complete the process of 3D modeling. I will start with the first tool which is push-pull tool. This tool is important and majorly used during modeling work. With the push-pull tool, you can create a 3D shape from a face or cut a 3D shape out of your model. You can push-pull any type of face including circular, rectangular and abstract faces. So let's begin with it. To pull out a face and thus add volume to your model, follow these steps. Select the push-pull tool from the large tool set or go to the tools menu and select push-pull tool from there or just press the P key to activate the push-pull tool in your sketcher. When the push-pull tool is active, you will see that the cursor will change to a square box and an up arrow on its top. When you move your cursor above the surfaces, SketchUp automatically highlights the surface which can be extruded by the push-pull tool. Left click on any surface you want to extrude or pull. The surface will move with your cursor till you click again to define the height of the surface or directly type the height in the measurement box. If you want to pull another surface of the previous height or any other height in the model, just pull the surface with the same method but this time move your cursor at the edge or on the face of the object from which you want the height to match and left click to complete. If you don't click, the surface will still follow your cursor. In SketchUp, when you pull any surface, it creates a hollow box always and the surface you are pulling is removed as you can see in the screen. To keep the original surface intact, there is a small trick. Just press the control key before you pull any surface. Then left click and start pulling your surface. You can see SketchUp has copied the another surface from the original one and the color has changed from purple to white. So by default SketchUp has two colors for the surface, purple and white. You can reverse the surface wherever you want just by selecting the surface, right click and select reverse surface. When I hide the top surface and try peeking inside our 3D shape, you can see all purple surface are inside. Now if you want to pull another surface of same height, you can do the same way I just explained. Or you can use another shortcut method to extrude the surface quickly if all your surfaces need to be pulled at same height. Take your cursor to any other surface and just double click over. If you double click by using control key, it will automatically copy the surface and will create the same solid box as before. Without control key, it will also create a 3D surface of same height, but the original surface will be removed as I explained before. You can stack an identical extrusion on top of existing one by using the same method as shown. Sometimes it is difficult for push-pull to select a surface to extrude. For that, you can pre-select the surface before you activate push-pull tool. If you need to start over, you can press escape key anytime before you define the height of the surface and can also press spacebar to activate select command and start selecting again. Move the cursor so that the selection expands. The measurement box displays the depth of the expanded face, also called an extrusion. To get a precise height, you can enter a distance which appears in the measurement box as you type and then press enter. This way you get all 3D surface of precise height and dimensions. Immediately after you push pull to add volume to your model, you can increase or decrease the size of the extrusion by typing it directly in the measurement box. Thank you. 
You can also use the push pull tool to cut pieces out of your model. This action is handy in all sorts of instances such as making a doorway, creating an angled roof or cutting out a nosh or a fastener or cutting any random or organic shape. Doing this is very easy and similar to the way we pull a surface, only this time we go in opposite direction. When you are in the push pull tool and you have decided which surface you want to remove, click that face as shown. Move the cursor in the direction you want to push. You can push part way into your model to remove only some of it or you can completely remove the content. Drag until you see a message that says the offset is limited. Even if you don't see that, you will see the two surfaces are clashing in the end. Click again to finish. Or if you want to specify the offset to certain specific length, you can just type it directly in the measurement box while you are dragging your surface to remove. Few things needs to be checked before you are going to remove any surface completely. Like the face that you push must be parallel with the face on the opposite direction of your model or the opposite side of your model. If any lines divide the opposite face, you need to erase those lines before you can cut a hole through your model. If the line is not removed, you can see in the screen the end surface will not be removed. Further you have to delete that surface to clear the space. Now while pushing or pulling a curved 3D shape, it's a little different from a linear face. Let's understand with an example. Let's consider a circular wall in a house or any building with a door opening or a window opening. To puncture a linear wall as I showed previously is very easy. You just have to draw a rectangle and push the surface to a distance till whole surface is removed. But to create a puncture in a curved wall is hard by default SketchUp tools. It becomes difficult and time taking. There are some plugins to do that but they are also not effective in every conditions. That's why I used a small trick as you can see in the screen by not pulling the surface where our opening is coming and creating a separate surface on the top and then joining it with the rest of extruded wall. This is super easy and saves time. Only you have to keep in mind to separate the surface where opening is coming in a curved wall in your plan. Ok guys, this was all about push-pull tool and various methods and tricks to work with it. It's not all, but it's most of it. If you keep practicing, you can do more with it based on your modeling work. In next video, I have explained in detail how to use arc tool in SketchUp and different options which SketchUp gives you to draw your arc. So keep learning. Thanks.